Hello everyone. Welcome to session 6 of practice test training. In this session we will learn about the requirements management in practice test. So as you can see uh, at the top tabs available in practice test you have pretty streamlined or kind of streamlined STLC defined and easy to understand in practice test. You have the requirements then out of those requirements you create your tests test cases uh, which go into the, your test library and then those test cases are added as part of the test sets and test runs so you basically add those test cases in test cycles and execute them then based on the execution whether pass or fail you raise the defects against those test cases which are failed and you raise the issues uh, in the issues tab and then finally the reporting around the overall you know like you can get the reporting around the issues around the test sets runs library or the requirement and the traceability back to the requirement so so it's pretty easy to follow the complete STLC or software testing lifecycle um, using practice test and the structuring that they have to, that uh, practice test uh, has provided in order to manage the complete STLC is pretty good. So let's start with the requirements management in practice test. So in order to add a new requirement, you just need to click on the requirements tab and it will open the requirement management page. So you can add a new requirement by clicking on this button here at the top. Um, in order to edit a requirement you can choose any of the existing requirement um, and just you know like click on that requirement there are edit icons available so if you want to edit the heading you can change the heading here um, create users for say home um, application um, and I'll just say save changes so you have you know like kind of edited that requirement if you go back you can see the edited requirement is available here all right um, to delete a requirement you can just click on this little icon here uh, and it will delete that particular requirement um, so let's see how you can go ahead and add the requirement so if you click on that uh, new requirement button it will open the requirement details page enter the requirement name so I'll say user should, should be able to submit home loan application I'm just taking any usual um, high level requirement not getting into too much detail so I've just put the requirement name I'll put the description of the requirement uh, and here you have you know like you can put the headings um, you can mark the text as bold um, italics and you can have the um, list numbered list etc you can even put the code um, in there so I'll say user should be able to submit home loan application so that's a high level requirement I would say and so by default it, the status will be not covered because you haven't added any of the test cases against this requirement so you are just creating that and you can add the particular requirement as standalone or you can add it as a sub requirement under any of the parent high level feature uh, you can select the component um, so all these you know like parent requirement or the components are customizable and we'll cover these in later sessions when we are doing the advanced settings configuration thing in practice test so I'll say web client here and then browser support if you want to add any attachments you can choose to add a new attachment or the file links for that particular requirement and just click on save changes and that particular requirement will be saved 
So if you see here, um, you can see the new requirement that I created. Users should be able to submit home loan application um, available here. You can sort the requirement based on the ID, name, or the status. So by default, you will see this requirement, the status is not covered. So this is the key feature and very nice feature that Practitest provides and helps a lot to manage the traceability of any requirement with your test cases as well as you know like your runs and how that particular feature is being covered uh, with the test execution or with the with the from coverage point of view in terms of you know like test cases and all so if you don't if you haven't written any of the test cases for that particular requirement by default practice test will show it as not covered because there are no matching test cases that have been written for that particular requirement and this requirement is not being covered as part of testing so as soon as you go ahead and add new test cases to this requirement the status of this will change to no run I mean so if you go ahead and go to traceability and add a new test so by default it picks um, the description from the requirement so I'll just say status is draft I'll say regression choose the default integration it's a component web client browser support and save and then go back to the requirement and it will change to no run because there is there is a test that has been added as part of this requirement but since that test hasn't been run or executed it hasn't been included as part of the test cycle so that is why it's showing as no run at the moment so there is coverage there is traceability for this requirement there are there are test cases but the execution hasn't happened yet so this feature is particularly the traceability around the requirements is pretty good using practice test test management tool so this is all about requirements management um, and in next session we will cover more around the test library test sets and runs thank you